Hello, today we're going to show you how to change one of these locks, which is a Adams Wright Strike model 7410630. And basically, we're going to follow this two step instruction on how to change this from fail secure to fail safe. Now, as I found on one installation, this can actually have like a little extension plate that's fitted over here. And this will appear like a silver metal plate going over this area here, which will hide this screw, which is what we need to change the way that the lock works. So first of all, on the back, it does actually tell you what it is that you need to do. Now in there, there's a tiny little screw and <clears throat> it does say to only turn two turns. So what I did is I've got a screwdriver I just put a line on the top of it and quite literally give that screw in there two complete turns. Slide it over to the other side and tighten it back up and let go. And then with this screw here, if you undo that one two turns, and slide that metal plate across like so and tighten it up we should find now let's do that one again that that has gone to fail safe now all that I did differently there then was sometimes when you move this over this does actually stay locked so I just basically followed this procedure again and moved it over and tightened it up again and we don't know if you can see there now but the screw is actually staying over on the left hand side where earlier it was staying on the right hand side and then this one will obviously stay where it is and that's basically it changed to fail safe if we need to change that back for any reason, then you would undo this screw, two turns, slide the metal plate back over there, tighten it back up, and we're back as a secure lock. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.